Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm doing a gun drop exercise. Okay, so basically I'm going to drop a loaded gun down to the ground. I'm not doing this to prove that the gun is drop safe. I trust that it is based on what, you know, the, you know basically I trust the manufacturer that it is. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is to desensitize myself to the possibility of dropping a gun. Um, if I do happen to drop it, right, let's say I fumble it or whatever, I want to be able to calmly pick it up without getting my finger um, you know, inside the trigger guard and accidentally firing the gun because uh, the tendency is if you do ever drop your gun, right, let's say for whatever reason it gets hit, your, your holster fails, whatever, it falls out, you know, it falls on the ground, uh, the typical mindset is going to be like, oh shit, got to get that gun as fast as possible. And in doing so, you're going to get your finger in the trigger, right, because there's a very high chance if you're grabbing a gun that's loose on the ground as quickly as possible that your hand is going to go inside the trigger guard and you're going to fire the gun. And um, there was a, a recent video that I saw. Um, it, was, it was a FBI agent. He was at a party. He was dancing, dropped the gun, tried to recover it as quickly as possible. In doing so, put his finger... Uh, inside the trigger guard, fired the gun, shot somebody in the leg, okay? Uh, so, um, I want to get used to the idea of dropping the gun and calmly picking it up without getting, like, overexcited, okay? Uh, so, so, here, so you guys can see me. So, I go to the holster, pick the gun. Oh, shit, I dropped it. Pick up the gun safely. Pick it up. And assess, go back in the host. Okay? So let's do that one more time. This time I'll do it further out. Come up, shit, drop the gun, come up to it, pick it up. So this is something that, that you want to do slowly. I mean, you're not doing this to prove that you can quickly recover the gun. If you drop the gun and people are going to see it, they're going to see it. I mean, you know, you picking it up faster is probably gonna draw more attention to the fact that you drop something than if you calmly pick it up like it's not a big deal and put it back in your holster. Now, the other situation is, um, if you ever are in a uh, self-defense type of situation, you've got somebody at, at gunpoint, you know, you don't want a situation where the cops arrive at the scene and they see you holding a gun because a good chance they're gonna think that you're the bad guy. So ideally, um, you know, you wanna have yourself on the cell phone or somebody else on the cell phone communicating to you that the police have just arrived so that you can reholster your gun but the situation may be such that you're not know that, that you don't know that they're on the scene um, and basically you hear police drop the gun okay when they say drop the gun they don't mean reholster the gun okay they don't mean calmly or slowly put it to the ground okay you know what they want to see is that okay um, anything other than that, who knows how they're going to interpret it, okay? So let's say you've got somebody at gunpoint, right? You got somebody at gunpoint, and all of a sudden you hear, uh, drop the gun, police here, drop the gun. That's what you want to do, okay? That's what they want to see. Um, if you try to go down to the ground, listen, they might think that you're trying to take cover so you can shoot at them. Who knows how they're going to interpret it? They said drop the gun, drop the gun, period. Don't, don't. You know, you, once, you, once you know that they're the police and they're giving you orders to drop the gun, drop the gun. Uh, I think there's an important drill too. You got to get comfortable with the idea of the gun falling to the ground, okay? Um, you know, good idea to do this in a grassy area. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, if you happen to be in a concrete area, hey, listen, you know, you might be worried you're going to scratch the gun or whatever. Listen, you got to get comfortable with this concept of dropping the gun, okay? Uh, so you, even you know, and you got to do this loaded. You got to get comfortable with this. You got to be able to calmly pick up the gun, and, and you know, you know, pick it up, and be aware of where your fingers are going. That's more important than anything else. Uh, you know, let's say you're in a situation. Let's say at work, right? Um, you know, maybe maybe you're carrying a gun at work, and you're not even supposed to be carrying a gun at work, and you drop it, and all of a sudden you're like, holy shit! If they see it, I'm gonna get fired. You know, and you're, you're racing to try and grab the gun as quickly as possible. Well, listen, I guarantee you if you, grab, if you, if you try to go too fast and you put your finger in the trigger guard and you accidentally fire the gun, you're going to be in a lot more trouble than if you calmly, nonchalantly pick up the gun and reholster it. Um, 
and then you know kind of act like hey no big deal you know uh, if you if you try to do it really fast you know you're gonna probably bring more attention to yourself than if you if you calmly do it you know carefully do it uh, now obviously we're not talking about a situation where you're in the middle of a gunfight um, and, so, and and basically you're fighting over the gun right that's a different type of situation and yet even in that situation you got to be careful how you pick up the gun uh, so you don't fire the gun in some direction that uh, that that you're not supposed to be you don't want to be firing it in but uh, the more likely scenario is that at some point in your life you're just gonna drop the gun um, and, and you have to be able to um, you know to, to, to pull yourself together right and, and and carefully pick up the gun without getting your finger in the trigger guard you know one of the things I, I've said in many videos the safest place for a loaded gun is in your holster okay so like when I go home at night I don't take I don't remove my gun from my holster I take my holster off my belt the whole thing goes as a unit inside the safe next morning I take the whole gun with the holster put it back on my belt you know I don't I don't remove the holster from the gun because the holster is the safety mechanism right the, you know we're talking about a hard uh, hard kydex holster that's the safety mechanism okay so when the gun does come out of the holster right you know the the, the safety is basically off so when you pick up that gun you gotta be really careful how you pick it up um, and and you can't allow yourself to get into a panic mode like oh you should I dropped the gun at you know calmly pick up the gun so that you don't make uh, an embarrassing situation far far worse all right by firing the gun accidentally so I hope this video is useful to you guys um, and I, I gotta tell you um, I, I, I first heard about this this idea this uh, of dropping the gun as part of a training exercise I don't know a couple of years ago and uh, it's not something I did right away it's something I, it took me some time to digest it uh, think about it you know you know weigh the cost benefits you know and uh, and I basically said yeah you know what you know you have to be you have to kind of desensitize yourself to the idea of dropping the gun the only way to do it is actually drop a loaded gun um, so that you you know because the gun is drop safe right all, all modern self-defense guns right um, you know are, are, are drop safe right um, so, but you, you gotta kind of get over that that mental, because it's more of a mental thing, right? You, you're dropping the gun, you're rushing to pick it up because you think, holy shit, you know, end of the world. No, just just, just do it carefully. Um, I gotta tell you, a lot of times when I'm training people, you know, my antennas go up if I see them drop a magazine, right, unintentionally, right? So one thing if I tell them to drop a mag, reload. But a lot of times people will just drop a magazine accidentally. My, especially if they got a gun in their hands, my antennas go up because a lot of times people forget that they're holding a gun and they'll, you know, they'll point the gun all over the place while they're going for that magazine that they accidentally dropped. Okay, or uh, and if I'm doing a shotgun training, and you know, people will typically fumble shotgun shells, right? Very common thing. Drop the shotgun shells. You know, all of a sudden they're they're, they're, they're scrambling trying to pick up the shells that they dropped, and you know, you know, I'm thinking immediately where, and I'm watching where's that shotgun going to point and. If I see it start moving offline, I mean, that's, that's the first thing I address. Watch your muzzle. Forget about the shells. Forget about the magazine. I don't care what you drop on the ground. You know, the more important thing is that, that you're aware of where your muzzle is, where, aware of where your finger is, okay? Um, and sometimes you got to slow things down a little bit in order to be aware of that. So if you're trying to rush, you know, you know, and if you are in a rush, because let's say you are in a rush, you got to pick it up, maybe you're in the middle of a gunfight, whatever. You've got to do this drill enough time so that you can consciously pick it up and be aware of where your fingers are going rather than just, just, just throwing your hands at the gun and, you know, wherever they land, they land. So I, ho I hope this video was uh, helpful to a bunch of you guys. Um, if you got some comments, put them in the comment section. Um, you know, if you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.